Hey everybody, this is Paul Cooley from ruleyourrealm.com and coming at you with a little different kind of video today. I want to talk to you about how to relieve stress from your workload uh, and from your work day. Now, some of you are self-employed, some of you work for an employer, it doesn't matter. Either way, you have stresses coming at you. And whether, um, you know, more or less I tend to focus more on the solopreneur and, and the entrepreneur versus an employee, but let's face it, we all have tasks and usually endless tasks thrown at us and there's a lot to do and it, can, it can become overwhelming. So what I want to cover is Evernote, but I want to cover an app that goes with Evernote to help you stay organized and not just how to stay organized, but know how to, when a task comes at you, how to um, organize that task in such a way that you know exactly when and how you should get that task accomplished, okay? So this is not some video that is a, an Evernote review review. Uh, real quick, I am going to review just a couple quick things, uh, but this is not a review. This is strictly how to use it in a way that will become effective for you to so you can end up ruling your day and managing your day instead of being ruled by it. Now, I do want to cover, I love Evernote just because uh, you can access your account um, I mean, through through your computer, uh, whether it's PC, whether it's a Mac, through your tablets, through your um, uh, phones. You know, I, I'm pulling it up right here. So you've got it on your iPhone. I've got it on my iPad. It's great. And I'll tell you, the app is very well done. I, I really am digging how the app is laid out. Now, uh, it is cool because you do have notebooks, as you can see here. Um, you can have shared ones, you can have uh, ones that are not shared, that are private, you can password protect and encrypt certain files if you want, uh, you can have tags. Uh, it's cool because there's a lot of uh, apps that are being designed to work with Evernote, uh, which is kind of cool. There are some pretty decent apps too, which I, maybe we'll do a review on someday, but I, I've been impressed with some of the apps that have been developed, uh, especially the work apps. Then you have your notes, which I'm not going to get into as much. What I really want to focus on is this right here, and this is the AnyDo app. Now, I'm also going to pull it up on my iPad as well, just so you can see this. Let me turn off my email here as well, so you don't have to look at all that. Um, so, the, the thing that really caught my eye was I found uh, an app, because I'm always looking for some cool um, apps that you can uh, be more productive on. So I found one called uh, AnyDo first, and I was like, this is pretty cool, but let me keep looking. Then I found AnyToDo, and this is what, it, I don't know if you can see this, but this is what it kind of looks like on my iPad. Now, I'm going to explain to you why I like this so much. You can also go to anytodo.com and you can check out their site, which is what we're on right now. Uh, I do recommend checking out the video and then going to the AnyToDo tab. And here's why. You're going to see this graphic here. So I want to explain two things for you. I pulled up two different graphics right here. One is the exact same one you see here, and then there's this one. If you are familiar with the Get Things Done by David Allen or the GTD um, group community, which is a large community, you know that there is a whole... Um, uh, methodology of how to stay organized on task. Now, this is why uh, I, I am not a GTDer, if, if you want to call it that. Um, but I do like their philosophy, and I've taken certain aspects of it that really works well for me. And then with combined with this app, I'm like, this is pretty powerful. So let me kind of give you a, the, the basics of the methodology here. So you'll see in the first little section here, you have stuff coming at you, and it goes to your inbox. Now, your inbox is not your email inbox necessarily. This is either a virtual or physical box filing system that when tasks come at you, whether it's via email, a task management system, uh, a physical document, whatever, think of it almost as your filter. So you have this filter. As stuff goes into your inbox, it gets filtered through. And so what you do is you say, okay, you first examine it. Uh, 
what is it? <laughs> okay, is it actionable? Now, usually what I believe the, the traditional thing is, okay, um, if it's a multi-step thing, it goes into a different file. Is it something that can be done in less than two minutes? You'll see it right here. What is the action? Is it actionable? Uh, does it need to be thrown in the garbage? Does it need to go in a file that's not that important, but it will need to be done at some point in time today? Is it a file that just needs to be put away for future reference? Uh, then it goes to whether if that's a no then it goes to these three if it's a yes then it goes okay well ha, what is the action step here is it something that can be done in less than two minutes if it is it goes to the do it now section uh, then if it's not maybe it needs to be delegated to somebody else uh, maybe it needs to go on to somebody else um, that needs to be that needs to do it now but just not you because you as the business owner You've got to focus on the profit-making tasks. And one of the biggest problems I see with a lot of business owners is they get lost in the chaos of endless tasks that have nothing to do with making a profit. It's just stuff. Uh, and yes, it is stuff that needs to get done, but it's someone else could do it, okay? So you got to get past that point. If you're going to rule your day and rule your realm in the marketplace, you got to know how to filter through the tasks. I've said this before uh, many times, is back in the beginning, I spent a ton of time trying to make my own WordPress websites. If I had been smart about it in the beginning, I would have found someone else to do it. And there are plenty of people to do it for really cheap. And you can have an awesome looking site for a lot less than if it took the hours and the hours and the weeks and the months and even the years of learning WordPress. Okay, I could have devoted that time to profit making tasks rather than these other tasks that are important, but they're not the profit ones. See what I'm saying? So you got to understand this. Um, Besides all that, now this, that's kind of the basic idea. So now taking the whole, oh, let me get rid of this one, this is a little bigger. So taking the whole concept of this Any To Do app, what this app does is it breaks it up into four sections. So if you'll see, hopefully you can see this, but you'll see that it does break it up into four different sections. Going this way, then it has another side column of different tasks and different things you can do, different categories, because you can have a work category, personal category, and so on. So with that whole philosophy in mind, as you get tasks, you can then just drag and drop, which is really cool, and it syncs up through your Evernote account. Um, you can have the critical activities. So it would go in the important and urgent stuff. The nice thing with this app is you can put reminders and due dates and things of that nature. So it will remind you, hey, this is due. Um, then you can also say, well, this is important, but doesn't necessarily need to be done right now. Um, so it goes in this section. Maybe here, um, the not urgent, not important, this is more of the distractions. Um, maybe, uh, what's some examples here? And actually this breaks it down, which is kind of nice. So what they're saying is in the distraction area is, um, let's see, <laughs> I don't know who schedules TV watching, but maybe it does. Clearing junk mail, that, there would be a good one. So that's not a huge priority, yet it's necessary, right, to stay on top of it, but it's not a profit-making task. So that's something that could be in the non important that's something you could be doing while watching TV. Um, then you have more of the urgent, but yet not important stuff. So like paying bills, uh, book travel, booking travel kind of things, uh, buying birth birthday gifts, uh, things like that. So it's not the stuff that has to be done right now necessarily because your life depends on it. Uh, some of it maybe it does, but uh, it's one of those things where now you can categorize sections of your life, sections of your workday. And now as you start completing the, the critical activities, what are some of the ones? Uh, crisis, uh, important deadlines, pressing important meetings, last minute preparations. Okay, so that's that's what they're saying should go in the critical activities. Uh, the important goals, let me just go over that again, relationship building, personal development, exercise and health, prevent, prevention and preparation. So you know, you can apply that to however it applies to you, but that's basically what you need to focus on. It's a different kind of mindset, but when you can understand uh, in business, okay, uh, what about getting all of my content for social media, uh, my social media efforts? What category would that go into? You place it in there. Uh, what about uh, that blog post that I need to write? Which section does that fit into for this particular day? So it is really nice. Um, 
I'm really digging the app. I really am. And the nice thing with Evernote, when you start using Evernote in conjunction with this, you'll notice uh, all of my stuff that I've put inside of my Any To Do app shows up in Evernote. So now I can elaborate on stuff. For example, here I put uh, from my iPad tips, which is an idea that I had. Uh, then I came into Evernote later on and actually put some notes so I could remember what exactly that meant, which is kind of cool. Um, there's also some cool things on the different apps on your phone and stuff is you can now do voice recordings. That's awesome. So if you're like me and driving in the car and thinking, hands-free of course, you can write, you know, do an audio note and to remind you, which is darn stinking cool. So personally, I use this in conjunction with the Reminders app on my phone, iPad, and computer because I really like it. It keeps me on track, it keeps me organized, and it allows me to filter through tasks uh, from the most important ones to the not so important ones and which ones I need to outsource compared to which ones I need to do and when I need to do it. So I hope that makes sense. Do you have questions? Do you have comments? I would love to hear from you. Leave a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to answer it. This is all a part of ruling your day. You got to stay organized. You need to manage your tasks wisely because then you can have some free time to go out and enjoy the rest of your day. And that's actually exactly what I'm going to be doing right after I upload this video. So until next time, guys, God bless. This is Paul Cooley from ruleyourrealm.com.